بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أجمعين Here the Oski case number 21 as we see in this patient is a child patient and has enlarging head circumference. What are the radiological findings of this patient? As we see here in this patient, we have T2 and we have T1 after contrast axial cuts and coronal cut T1 after contrast. Uh, and in T2, we have lobular front-like mass region in the Arteria of the lateral ventricle. And this mass also has void inter internal flow voids uh, due to vascular pedicle. And the, there is avid enhancement of the mass uh, after IV contrast, as we see here. And and we see here, and the signal void, it is still seen. And the lobulated appearance of the mass. And the mass, it is associated with ventricular enlargement, uh, moderate to large to mark ventricular enlargement. Uh, the diagnosis is most likely due to choroid plexus babyloma in this child, and as we said, it is has increasing head circumference. What are the uh, some of the epidemiological facts and bears for this choroid plexus babyloma? It is as choroid plexus babyloma. It is a benign. Uh, grade 1 WH uh, classification, intraventricular in your epithelial tumor, and uh, most common in most common brain tumor in kids under the one year of age. And vast majority of the patient presented with uh, five year, under five years with this disproportionate increase incidence in the first year of life. It is a okay, care most common in the trigon of the lateral ventricle and in the kids and also seen in the fourth ventricle. And it is hydrocephalus due to excessive uh, a production of the cerebral spinal fluid. Uh, what are the some uh, uh, association associ uh, with this uh, uh, plexus babyloma? Uh, can be associated with a cardiac syndrome or von Hebelandos disease and hemangioblastoma are recognized association. In the MRI, uh, the provided luxus babyloma have avid enhancing front-like solid component. Carcinoma more have heterogeneous and uh, suggestion if you have heterogeneous enhancement, you have to suggest thyroid plexus uh, carcinoma and internal fluid flow void uh, vascular medical is common seen as we see here in the our patient and maybe parenchymal edema due to parenchymal invasion in some patient with carcinoma. Uh, 
as we said, it is the location, the location of the tumor. Uh, it is occur okay in about seventy percent in the uh, for ventricle, and next common location of occurrence is the lateral ventricle is the trigon and can be seen in the third ventricle, CB angle, and in the region of the pineal gland. Uh, thank you for listening and hoping to see soon in another talk. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayka.